Tom Hodgkinson, Business for Bohemians, Live Well, Make Money. Are you a Bohemian who craves freedom and creativity, but also needs to make a living? Business for Bohemians, Live Well, Make Money, by Tom Hodgkinson offers invaluable insights and practical advice for turning your creative passions into a thriving business, without sacrificing your unique lifestyle. This book summary delves into the benefits of running your own business, the importance of balancing ambitions with values, the challenges you'll face along the way, and the helpful traditional business practices that can aid your journey. The author speaks from experience, sharing inspiring examples for embracing freedom and self-employment while making a living doing what you love. Unleash your bohemian freedom. Most bohemians dream of a life filled with creativity and the pursuit of passions rather than being confined to an office. To truly maintain their freedom and live the good life, embracing the world of business may be the answer. Working for oneself opens doors to creative freedom, autonomy, and the opportunity to make a difference in the world, offering a much more fulfilling and independent life compared to traditional employment. An ideal life, for many bohemians, is one where creative endeavors, engaging conversations, and a strong connection with our passions are in full bloom. However, the reality is that we need to make a living to support ourselves and our dreams. This realization leaves us with two options, get a job or go into business. Submitting to a job typically means subjecting ourselves to the control of an employer or corporation. Unfortunately, this can lead to the dreaded wage slavery lifestyle, where most of our waking hours are sacrificed to work for someone else. This is true even for those earning high salaries, as their labor ultimately belongs to their employer. This way of life can be described as luxurious servitude, offering little in the way of freedom and personal fulfillment. On the other hand, venturing into the world of business, through freelancing, owning a small company, or thriving as an entrepreneur, allows bohemians to maintain their freedom and individuality. By working for oneself, the power to make important decisions lies in your hands. You choose the products or services to offer, the work hours and environment and the people you collaborate with. Embracing the world of business may seem like a bourgeois concept at first, but it also carries a sense of anarchy and rebellion. By taking charge of your life, you're breaking away from the constraints of the corporate world, paving your unique path, and creating something fresh and innovative. Rejecting the predetermined career paths set out by others, you are, in essence, seizing the freedom you desire. In conclusion, the pursuit of business provides bohemians with a way to claim their independence and fulfillment. By escaping the clutches of traditional employment and embracing the entrepreneurial spirit, you can truly indulge in the freedom you crave while still supporting your dreams and living a life in tune with your passions. Embrace Bohemian Business Values You don't need to build a megacorporation to lead a successful and fulfilling business life. Aligning your business with your bohemian values is entirely possible, whether it's a small-scale lifestyle business or an ambitious venture with a larger purpose. Focus on making a positive impact, enjoying your work, and achieving a comfortable income without sacrificing your principles. The story of startups turning into massive corporations might appeal to some, but for bohemians, that concept feels far from their values. Rather than aiming to dominate the corporate world, Bohemians prefer to design a business aligned with their artistic and free-spirited ethos. One option is to create a lifestyle business. This small-scale venture lets you or a partner maintain a humble operation and enjoy the satisfaction of your trade. Being a shopkeeper, consultant, life coach, or even a plumber offers rewarding work while allowing time and financial independence for other artistic pursuits. However, if you dream of something more substantial, it's still possible to scale your business without becoming a corporate tyrant. You might have a broader mission or message to share, and growing your venture will enable you to reach a wider audience. This path doesn't require creating a global behemoth, instead, you can focus on expanding gradually by hiring a core staff, collaborating with freelancers, and attracting investors who believe in your vision. This approach is precisely what the author of Idler did with his venture. 
Starting as a magazine, Idler has since blossomed into something more significant, a publishing and events brand, including the Idler Academy of Philosophy, Husbandry, and Merriment. This growing enterprise organizes live events, workshops, festivals, and online courses covering topics as diverse as ancient Greek philosophy, gardening, creative writing, and ukulele playing. While this may seem more ambitious than running a vintage clothing store, it is by no means an attempt to amass a fortune or control the global market. Instead, its aim is to positively impact people's lives, provide enjoyable work for the author and his collaborators, and secure enough income to sustain their lifestyle. Embracing your bohemian values in business is an achievable goal. Whether you prefer the simplicity of a lifestyle business or a venture that serves a larger purpose, remember that the ultimate aim isn't to conquer the world or make a fortune, but rather to have a positive impact, enjoy your work, and support your passion-filled life. The Business Challenge Reality Just a few years back, the Idler Academy of Philosophy, Husbandry, and Merriment was not only an online learning platform but also an actual, brick-and-mortar location nestled within the heart of Notting Hill, London. Initially conceived as a coffeehouse, bookstore, event space, and education center, the author and his team diligently managed its daily operations. What seemed like a dream manifested into more of a nightmare as the business faced numerous issues and the overwhelming responsibilities that accompanied them. This experience highlights the pivotal message, never underestimate the challenges of running a business. On the surface, owning a business might appear to offer freedom, but it also carries a significant weight of responsibilities. One must cater to customers' needs, oversee employees, make timely payments to freelancers, handle taxes, maintain records, fulfill orders, and more. Moreover, various mundane tasks must be executed daily, such as cleaning restrooms and opening mail. Amidst the sea of responsibilities, business owners must also generate profits to maintain their operations. However, navigating challenges isn't a walk in the park. For instance, the author believed that serving coffee would be engaging but discovered that it was far from enjoyable. Customers fervently complained about the cold coffee and the inordinately slow service, which they were right about. Another glaring issue emerged with weak sales, as only a handful of customers would sporadically grace the establishment, rarely making more than minimal purchases. Furthermore, dilemmas like the offer of soy milk exemplified the numerous intricate choices that had to be made while deciding the course of the business. The author found himself buying soy milk from a nearby store to cater to customers' preferences, inevitably incurring losses on these transactions. The innumerable minor details that infiltrate daily operations must be addressed, and each decision significantly impacts the chances of succeeding in a competitive environment. While entrepreneurship may appear alluring, this account reveals the harsh reality of running a business, emphasizing the critical advice, never trivialize the intricacies associated with entrepreneurship. Balance Bohemian and Traditional Ways Embracing traditional business practices may seem contrary to the spirit of being a bohemian, yet it can actually help maintain your freedom. By following time-tested methods, you can save yourself from unnecessary messes and keep your energy focused on your passions. For instance, adopting conventional hiring and management techniques can significantly improve your business environment while still preserving your unique flair. If you opened a business to achieve personal autonomy and creative expression, you might feel hesitant to embrace standard business practices. However, the truth is, incorporating conventional methods can actually help you maintain your freedom and authenticity as a bohemian entrepreneur. Traditional business practices exist for a reason, they are proven ways to solve problems, avoid difficulties, and accomplish tasks efficiently. Even in a bohemian environment, incorporating time-tested methods can save you from the chaos that might arise from attempting to improvise your way through business management. Take the example of the author's experience at the Idler Academy. Believing that being conventional wouldn't suit his bohemian ethos, he decided to wing it. Unfortunately, this led to constant issues, exhausting workdays, and no time or energy for personal pursuits. An important lesson surfaced from his flawed approach to hiring staff. 
Relying on his instincts, the author filled positions by offering jobs to people he deemed agreeable. His management style was similarly lenient, based on the assumption that if employees were pleasant, everything would work out. However, this backfired when employees began arriving late, partaking in recreational substances, and neglecting essential tasks. The author found himself responsible for cleaning up the messes left behind. It was only when he turned to conventional business practices for hiring and managing employees that things improved. Implementing traditional approaches, such as reviewing CVs, checking references, assigning responsibilities, and conducting performance reviews, transformed the enterprise. In conclusion, there is a place for traditional business practices within a bohemian venture. By embracing methods that have been proven to work, you can ensure that your business runs smoothly, allowing you the freedom to focus on your artistic aspirations, rather than spending all your time putting out fires. Incorporating conventional strategies does not undermine your bohemian spirit, on the contrary, it can be the very thing that enables you to preserve it. The Clarity of Business Plans Embrace the power of business plans and accounting systems, as they provide clarity and structure to ensure the growth and success of your business. Business plans clarify your goals and ideas. Meanwhile, an effective accounting system keeps track of your financial health, allowing you to make informed decisions. Often, people feel hesitant or uninspired when it comes to business plans and accounting systems. However, these essential tools help to form a clear vision and maintain the financial stability of any successful business. Let's dive into the significance and benefits of these wonderful tools. Think of a business plan as a roadmap for your entrepreneurial journey. When starting out, it's easy to fall into the trap of going with the flow, believing that things will just fall into place. However, a business plan is much more than just formalities. It offers an opportunity to clarify your ideas, define your objectives, and truly understand your business. Creating a business plan is like outlining a book before you write it. To craft a solid plan, answer a series of questions that delve into the essence of your business. What is your product or service? How will it benefit people's lives? Who is your target audience? And, how can you reach them? By answering these questions, you identify any gaps in your business model, allowing you to build a stronger foundation even before investing any capital. Financial stability is another critical aspect of running a successful business. Predicting your expenses and revenue for your first year of operation helps you determine your required income to stay afloat. But once your business is up and running, it's crucial to monitor your financial performance consistently. Enter the accounting system. Although crunching numbers may not be everyone's favorite pastime, maintaining an accurate and organized accounting system is vital for financial health. Keeping a close eye on your finances leads to more informed decisions, prevents bankruptcy, and ensures the sustainability of your business. In essence, the clarity gained from business plans and accounting systems alleviates the anxiety that can arise from the unknowns of running a business. Implementing these tools helps you stay on top of your business's financial health, ensuring that you can enjoy both the success and the bohemian lifestyle that comes with entrepreneurial freedom. So, ditch the misconceptions and embrace the benefits that come with well-structured business plans and accounting systems. Smart Pricing Strategies A crucial aspect of running a successful business is setting the right price for your products or services. Avoid pricing too low since it can lead to unsustainable profits and hinder business growth. Instead, find a balance that allows for both affordability and long-term success. Two handy rules to remember, double your initial price and expect some complaints as a sign of appropriate pricing. Understanding the importance of smart accounting strategies for your business is crucial, but it is only the beginning. Now it's time to dive into the main factor that fuels any business venture, money. Making a profit or, at the very least, breaking even is vital for your business's endurance, regardless of how revolutionary or ethically driven your business idea may be. How do you make money effectively? One crucial lesson to bear in mind is not to set your prices too low. As a kind-hearted entrepreneur, it's natural to want to offer your products or services at a low price, 
both to make them accessible to more people and to avoid overcharging customers. While this is true to some extent, setting ultra-low prices is a strategy that only works for huge corporations with immense resources. As a small business, your priority should be maintaining sustainability and ensuring the livelihood of you and your employees. This isn't achievable if your pricing does not adequately cover your costs or generate sufficient profit. The author of the book, for instance, used to charge £10 per ticket for his lecture series at the Idler Academy. However, with merely 30 attendees and £250 in expenses, all that remained was an unsustainable £50 profit. When he raised the ticket prices to a range of 20 to 30 pounds, he encountered complaints from some attendees, but it led to a more viable business model. This experience highlights two essential rules of thumb when setting prices. First, consider the initial price you have in mind, and double it. It's likely a more appropriate price for your product or service. Second, receiving complaints about pricing can indicate that your prices are positioned well. If no one complains, your prices might still be too low. In conclusion, finding the right balance in pricing is vital in maintaining a thriving business. Avoid undercharging for your products or services to secure long-term success while keeping them accessible to a majority of customers. By doubling your initial price and being open to some criticism, you can create a sustainable and profitable business model. Choosing the right funding the survival of your business depends on setting the right prices for your products, which in turn requires capital to produce them. There are several sources of funding, each with pros and cons consider your priorities, such as retaining autonomy or promoting growth, when deciding on the most suitable funding option for your business. Starting or growing a business primarily requires capital. While certain industries, such as consulting, might demand minimal overhead expenses, other businesses need funds to produce their products and survive the market. With that in mind, think carefully about where to get your funding. There is a variety of funding sources available, including loans, remortgaging your house, crowdfunding, seeking investors, or borrowing from friends and family. Each option has its benefits and drawbacks, especially for those who highly value freedom and autonomy. For instance, securing a loan as a self-employed individual can be challenging. However, once successful, the bank's primary concern will be collecting interest, allowing you to manage your business without interference. On the other hand, friends and family may willingly support your business, but their invested interest could lead them to give unsolicited advice on how you should run your operations. Traditional investors are even more likely to offer guidance and suggestions for your business, and unlike well-meaning friends and family, they possess the power to force you into taking their advice. Investors are not merely offering financial support as charity, their ultimate goal is to profit from their investment, which may result in them closely monitoring or intervening in your business decisions, such as replacing your partners. However, investors can provide significant capital to help your business realize greater ambitions and scale beyond a small lifestyle business. Of course, obtaining investment funds may come at the cost of sacrificing some autonomy. Understanding this trade-off is crucial when seeking investors. The key is to be aware of the compromises you are making and to select the funding option that aligns with your priorities. Is retaining full control over your small-scale business more important to you, or are you willing to relinquish some control for the sake of significant growth? Recognizing your main objectives and preferences will enable you to choose the most suitable source of funding to drive your business toward success. Embrace your bohemian wobble. As you journey through the world of business, it's natural to face challenges, setbacks, and even question your path. Remember the freedom that initially drove you, but also know when it's time to walk away and find a new direction. This balancing act is essential to developing a successful, sustainable business. Running a business is no walk in the park. You'll grapple with obstacles, disappointed customers, failed products, and maybe even employees treating your property like their personal playground. Success requires determination, resilience, and adaptability, but also knowing when to call it quits. At some point, you'll likely experience the bohemian wobble, questioning your decision to start a business in the first place. 
It's a perplexing phase, where the idea of a traditional job, a consistent paycheck, and a trouble-free life might look rather tempting. Before jumping ship, however, pause for a moment and remember why you embarked on this journey, freedom. Though your business might currently resemble a nightmare, at least it's one of your own creation. Exercise your autonomy and push through the rough patches, you'll soon rediscover the passion and fulfillment that drew you to entrepreneurship. On the other hand, if your business consistently brings you misery and shows no signs of improvement, it might be time for a change. Embrace the freedom of the bohemian entrepreneur, no one is chaining you to your enterprise, and you have the power to choose another path. The story of the Idler Academy serves as a perfect example. Initially a physical store, the author explored numerous ventures, from selling used books to operating a cafe. Despite their initial appeal, none of them proved viable. After five years, he closed the store, as it was neither profitable nor enjoyable. However, he didn't give up on his dream. Instead, he pivoted to a digital platform, which has since blossomed into a sustainable, joyful enterprise. The takeaway here isn't just to persevere and fight adversity relentlessly. Instead, it's about recognizing when to push through, and when it makes sense to walk away. Sometimes, abandoning an unsustainable project opens doors to new beginnings, allowing you to create a business that truly flourishes. So, when your bohemian wobble moment arrives, let it be an opportunity for reflection, adaptation, and growth. In conclusion, Business for Bohemians, Live Well, Make Money, encourages wannabe bohemian entrepreneurs to find a business model compatible with their values, and offers practical advice for maintaining freedom in their work lives. The book highlights the importance of traditional business practices, such as creating business plans, establishing accounting systems, setting the right prices, and careful funding methods, while adapting them to preserve your individuality. As you navigate the challenges of running a business, remember the freedom you sought in the first place, and embrace it, whether it means seizing new opportunities, re-evaluating your path, or even knowing when to walk away. With the insights and guidance from this book. You can cultivate a business and lifestyle that reflects your love for creativity and independence, while also making a living, 